April 15th, 2005, Vandenberg Air Force Base in California. NASA prepares to launch a new kind of spacecraft piloted by a super intelligent robot. The spaceship, in effect, has its own brain. It is called DART. DART stands for Demonstration of Autonomous Rendezvous Technology. This was a hundred million dollar spacecraft designed to prove that you could do automatic docking without any human intervention. NASA wants this artificially intelligent craft to rendezvous with an orbiting satellite and maneuver around it. DART was a fully autonomous spacecraft. After launch, there was no way for it to receive any new commands from the ground. They deliberately did not put any kind of manual override in. It was going to sort of do it all by itself, a bit like a human does. At 1.25 p.m., NASA launches the DART spacecraft from an airplane. DART takes off without a hitch, performs the initial maneuvers, and begins to approach the satellite for rendezvous. But 11 hours in, DART starts behaving in ways NASA had not predicted. For reasons that are unclear, DART begins firing rockets that wasn't supposed to fire at this stage. It's up there, it's doing its thing, and it just goes haywire. But rather than carefully maneuvering around it, DART instead decides to fire itself at the satellite. I suppose there was a moment when they realized that they'd actually hit the satellite. This is a high profile and very expensive mission. It begs the question, what happened to the supposedly hyper-intelligent spacecraft? NASA's most advanced super-intelligent robot spacecraft seems to go crazy and decides to damage a satellite and itself. Mission control is powerless. They have no idea what's going on, and there's no way they can possibly retake control of the vehicle. NASA is baffled as to why the craft decided to behave in this destructive way. Is it possible that the spacecraft was sabotaged? The theories on what happened range from Chinese hackers to other foreign powers getting in there to try to make America look bad. But this robot is autonomous. Hackers can't meddle with the instructions it's receiving because there aren't any. Even NASA can't influence DART. It's created to be autonomous. So the possibility of another nation being able to hack it simply isn't viable. Experts come to an astonishing conclusion. DART decided by itself to fire its rockets and crash into the satellite. Has it gone the same way as how? The rogue supercomputer in 2001, a space odyssey. If we have a, a machine that becomes conscious and becomes self-aware, what is that going to do? Is that a, a machine that's going to go on strike, simply refuse to work? Is it possible that the DART spacecraft acted as it did after it developed some crude form of consciousness? Imagine that you're a spacecraft. You become conscious. You exist. You are aware of your existence. And then you recognize in the immediate instant after that that you're a NASA spacecraft and your sole purpose is to dock with this other spacecraft and then, like, that's it. In the future, we can't rule out the possibility of a super intelligent being saying to itself, there is no reason to live. I'm going to take actions to end myself and anything else I want. Either what you're talking about is a normal kind of failure of, of, of things that break and blow up, or maybe it didn't just break. Maybe it was too good. Maybe it just started making decisions for itself. And DART is just the beginning. Terrifyingly, advanced artificial intelligence might soon play a major role in military technology on Earth. We have the capability to build autonomous military weaponry that can go onto a battlefield and can execute a person. But we don't have the capability to program in 
the moral and legal frameworks that are within our society as rules of engagement. So we can make very dangerous machines right now that have no moral code. The idea of machines uh, making decisions, which can make decisions much more quickly than human beings can in the military. This is um, disturbing. When robots become self-aware, they may have an agenda completely different from our agenda. There are systems right now that you turn them on, you set them off, and they will shoot and kill human beings if they decide to. So we're there. We're already in that world. Now, have we built uh, an AI that's sophisticated enough that it might want to actually destroy us? I don't think so. But I don't know. Once a bitter rival, NASA now depends on Russia's space program. Currently, the only way we can get U.S. astronauts to go to the International Space Station is using Russian rockets. We rely on Russia to put American astronauts in space. How big of a risk is that? These are our Cold War adversaries. There's nothing about the behavior of the Russians that would warrant relying on them with human life. Once the pioneers of spaceflight, Roscosmos is now on the brink of collapse. The present Russian space program is rift with a great deal of corruption, sloppy quality control, and shoddy workmanship. After the collapse of the Soviet Union, there were huge cuts in the budget for the space industry. The Soviet spacecraft that they use of carrying people into space is based on a design that's old. In the past eight years, 15 Russian rockets have failed. And these are just the accidents that we know about. Russia is a nation where almost everything is veiled in secrecy. They're very adept at keeping things covered up. We never really know, working with Russia, what the true story is. 